So,、uh, thank you for、uh, introducing me. My name is Hiro Takamotai. I work as an、uh, engineer on the OSPO staff. So, I'd like to introduce our、uh, OSPO comic manga. So,、uh, have, you, have you get? Yeah, yeah. yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> So, it is being distributed in our、uh, booth. We,、um, we, we, our company is a、uh, sp sponsor. So,、uh, so, if you don't,、uh, didn't take it, so please come to our booth. So, anyway, so,、uh, this is a、uh, slide to copy. So, I'd like to introduce and. So, where is my castle? Here. So, it, this comic is、uh, based on true story in my company. So, and so we are、uh, uh, making the,、uh, two types of、uh, commercial Linux distro. One is for enterprise and、uh, the other for embedded. So,、uh, uh, so, I think it's a、uh, Reason why we、uh, decided to build up、uh, OSPO. So, this situation is a、uh, sample,、uh, I mean, uh, uh, how can I say, the sa salesperson, new salesperson,、uh, maybe customer asks uh, why, why uh, your Linux is not, uh, is, uh, why. Uh, uh, Why your Linux is not free? So, I guess、uh, the, the imaging of、uh, my customer uh, Linux is uh, uh, enabled to use free of charge. So, his question is by point of、uh, why Linux, your Linux is not free of charge. So, and、uh, the person,、uh, sales engineer,、uh, salesman can not reply. Uh, correctly, so he related on the special engineer. He know the lot、uh, what is open source. So, so that this situation is uh, not uh, not good to the, our company. So, OSPO is、uh, a bridge road、uh, or between、uh, internal de department. So we.、Uh, We believe、uh, the developer、uh, should focus on development. So, it, this is why we are、uh, building the、uh, OSPO. So, please、uh, take it and read it. So, it, that's all. Thank you, Anna san. So,、uh, I'm Kiyoshi Oda. I'm the,、uh, leading、uh, one of the topics in the、uh, OSPO Japan local meetup. So, let me introduce、uh, this meetup things. So,、uh, so I'd like to explain the why, how we、uh, organize this uh, uh, meetup or this subgroup. So, 
、at、uh, uh, several、um, two or three,、uh, three years ago, the a l l sports keyword is uh, 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 becoming popular. And then at that moment, the member,、uh, many members、uh, uh, in the、uh, Open Chain Japan Working Group、uh, had、uh, some interest in that and want to know, I、uh, want to understand that. So, first, we started to study uh, 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 GGI groups,、uh, GGI handbook、uh, at first to understand what h o s p o is. And after we、uh, Did through and、uh, study that. We、uh, next step we decided to have a discussion in the,、uh, some topic of the OSPO and、uh, that. So we discussed that,、uh, mainly two topics. One is uh, 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 discussing, some, uh, sim- uh, discussing on some simple QA, and, and the other is、uh, discussing on the o- OSS strategy stuff. So for the sim- Simp- uh, so, I would like to just uh, uh,、mm, briefly uh, introduce the, this, these two activities,、uh, discussions. So, first one is a simple QA or maybe easy QA. So, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit.、Uh, so, 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 we are having、uh, some、mm, discussion. So,、uh, we just gather some questions from the members. And pick up the, uh, uh, one, we、uh, pick up s- such questions and、uh, have a discussion on that and try to make a, a simple answer for that question. s These are some、um, candidate, some, can,、uh, some uh, uh, qu- uh, questions, uh, uh, discussion c a n d i d a t e and we discussed、uh, several of them、uh, already. But、uh, so during this uh, conversation, uh, discussion, So,、uh, we know there are so many materials,、uh, presentations, things uh, in the, uh, this kind of event or、uh, some website. But、uh, during the discussion ourselves, we can deeply understand for the, what OSPO is or this kind of、uh, topics. So, that's what、uh, I think it's very valuable for the、uh, members、uh, in, in this discussion activity. And one example of the, our result is uh, uh, looking like this. So, this one is uh, uh, the question is uh, uh, what are the benefits of the open source activities? So, we,、uh, at the, in the, during the discussion, we have a lot of opinions, a lot of ideas、uh, for, this que- this, uh, uh, for the answer. But、uh, there are so many. And then、uh, we think. Uh, we, we find out we can sort the, our ideas based on these、uh, maturity models. So maybe the benefit is, uh, uh, looks like a different uh, be, uh, based on the, what, where that person is. So, so this is a, a, a little bit uh, a complicated uh, chart. Maybe we can more、mm, make uh, some summarize、uh, the, each part. Like,、uh, For example, maybe so we can maybe just uh, summarize uh, each uh, part and then、uh, makes more easy、uh, or powerful,、uh, more, uh, makes it more easy to look at and uh, uh, useful uh, chart. I, I, think, I believe so. so. And there's a, another example is a, a, a question is a, what is an OSPO? It's a very、uh, fundamental question. It's also have a, we have a, a lot of uh, 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 answers, uh, opinions. So we did, we did the same way, just uh, uh, plot that、uh, answers on the, this、uh, maturity model things. And then, and then we have a, some, some kind of、uh, idea of the, what is OSPO right now. So again, during the discussion o-、uh, on this, we have a, a More, uh, and we have a more answer, but、uh, understand it also deeply. And also, we have、uh, some idea how to explain the OSPO to our colleagues or our, uh, our uh, members. And also, maybe,、uh, yeah, I think it's very、uh, good things for the members. So, And another activity. Oh, 
I shall read this. So, uh, another topic of the activity. So, I'm reading the uh, the simple Q and A things, and uh, Motai san is reading the, this part, uh, OSS strategy part, and uh, this is uh, some <laughs> uh, result of our discussion. A very, it's, uh, also this is very busy things, and also it's not uh, finished yet. So, so in this uh, discussion uh, part. We have uh, um, we just uh, so we thought the strategy may be different based on that company's uh, business. So we uh, categorize <coughs> yeah categorize uh, as a business uh, on um, in the in the line and uh, plot uh, some the characteristics of the. Uh, business and also put uh, some uh, issue point of, for that business. And based on this chart, we are having a discussion. What is a, uh, what is a typical or a, what is a point of the strategy for the company in that category? So, so this kind of discussion we are doing in our local meetup and. Uh, uh, Every uh, uh, every second mm, Friday on the month, and every uh, fourth Friday on the month. So. So now, now we, we, we uh, sorry, sorry. So now, now we uh, we are discussing. Uh, e e uh, also, each in each com each company should do for open source community. So please uh, join us. Okay, for, so for, for this uh, panel discussion, I've got some questions uh, to all of you because you either uh, have deep experience on working with open source communities, you either are on the way of building an OSPO or you are part of the OSPO. So my question to, to you, the first one, is uh, when looking at the uh, Japan market and Japan ecosystems, uh, what issues um, do you think that open source community have here in Japan? Uh, any, anyone? Yeah, yeah, like anyone is free to, to think, to raise. So, so uh, le let me let me reframe. Yeah, le <laughs> sorry about that. Let me reframe the the question. So, uh, you were mentioning like sometimes it's hard to um, have. So the OSPO role is to also engage with the community, mm -hmm. uh, but this is one of the major issues that, or or at least I would like to know what is the situation here of the major issues of um, the engaging with these open source communities and how can the OSPO help. Yeah, uh, in general, uh, of course, uh, some uh, uh, advanced companies uh, have a uh, culture of to uh, contribute to the community and uh, some company uh, uh, joining the very strategically uh, uh, the open source communities. But uh, almost all uh, legacy company in Japan uh, is a uh, uh, contribution is uh, almost all uh, voluntary uh, from the each engineer, or, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, th this is uh, outside of the work. Mm -hmm. So this is, I think, a very big issue because uh, 
I think uh, to uh, maintain the ecosystems of the open source is uh, one of the uh, uh, very important part of the software development all over the world. Uh, this is also same in Japan. So uh, uh, our uh, OpenGen and the uh, Todo Group uh, promote the importance of the contribution of open so for open source software. And uh, I think uh, OSPO is uh, uh, one uh, option uh, to uh, accelerate it. So we also uh, promote to set up uh, OSPO in Japan also. By the way, uh, do you uh, do you want to say something about yourself for, inch for <laughs> uh, uh, <sorry. laughs> self-introduction? Uh, uh, I'm a master end from Toyota Motor Corporation and uh, uh, in, uh, in Japan work group, uh, I am a leader of the uh, promotion subgroup. Uh, promotion subgroup uh, promote not only open source compliance, but also uh, open source itself and uh, OSP also. So yeah, thanks so much. And we can keep doing the round of presentations. I really <laughs> apologize. I completely forgot <laughs> about that. <laughs> okay, so uh, next is me. Mate. Uh, actually. So, uh, hi everyone. I'm Ayumi Watanabe. I'm from Hitachi Solutions. It is an ID company in Japan. And I'm a, uh, how do I say, I'm a consultant, especially for open source management and s -bomb. So, uh, actually, I am not a member of OSPO of my company, but I am the person who uh, help your OSPO how to, act, uh, how to do your activity or how to create your OSPO. So uh, answering your question, uh, I saw a lot of people from uh, Japanese companies and uh, they, uh, the common understanding uh, of them is, uh, as mentioned, as Endosa mentioned before, uh, open source activity is uh, like, a, a, how do I say, a, Mm, just a community work, not for benefit of company. So we need to change those understanding actually. So uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, individual persons, individual uh, developers who is really uh, passionable uh, to do community work, but a company is not so. So uh, it is the situation in Japan, I think. Yeah. Thank you so much. Me? Yeah. Uh, Motai san again. <laughs> <laughs> so I, as I mentioned, I I work as a de uh, developer and I suppose so. Uh, my question is: uh, It is important to keep the motivation for developer to uh, to the community, but. Uh, in general, uh, most almost uh, the Japanese company has a rule for publication. What uh, the what uh, the material artifact uh, build, it was built in the company. So I think OSPO have, should should do the cha change the rule uh, beyond the developer. So. Developer uh, had to keep uh, motivation themselves, so I think it's a very important to act uh, in Japan, maybe. Yeah, yeah I agree. So, uh, over that also. Uh, so I, I uh, uh, have a same uh, opinion, and also uh, we, I think, the OSPO have some have uh, some. Um, have to change the, some uh, mindset in the company to support the engineers to contribute or uh, participate in the open source world. So that's a, a big uh, uh, things, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. This uh, important things for the OSPO activity. Mm -hmm. um, and in Japan, uh, how is right now, uh, how do you see the general awareness of the OSPO? And how can how how do you think that this awareness could increase in in the next year? Uh, not it's a general question, so everyone is free to to answer them. So maybe uh, so um, um, according to my activity now uh, meetup uh, OSPO is a work. So OSPO itself is a little bit difficult to understand and explain to the. Uh, who don't know the open source especially, and also the some top management people. So that's a 
biggest themes that mm. we have to fight them for. Mm -hmm. So, but I, 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 as far as I know, the uh, number of OSPO in, uh, in the compa company is a little bit uh, become increasingly incre increase. Uh, it's not uh, sh sharp, but uh, uh, definitely increased. Mm -hmm. So maybe uh, uh, near the future, the OSPO is uh, uh, common sense in Japan? Maybe. I believe so. <laughs> uh, yeah, my understanding is the same. Uh, OSPO is not so famous in Japan, actually, for now. Uh, but uh, recently, for example, S-bomb is very hot in Japan. So uh, next year, maybe, uh, OSPO is uh, more, more and more famous uh, uh, in Japan. And uh, to do that, uh, we need to, how do I say, promote the benefit or how important is OSPO is uh, to the upper management of companies. Yeah, as I think, uh, uh, as you uh, as you mentioned, uh, OSPO is not famous in Japan. But uh, for example, uh, the industry, uh, Line and Yahoo, uh, this is a very big platform in Japan. Uh, uh, Majit, and uh, uh, their new homepage uh, says uh, uh, R&D and open source. So open source is very big topics of the uh, technical development uh, of software. So I think awareness is uh, uh, increasing little by little, but uh, uh, how to uh, spread in the uh, legacy companies as uh, automotive industry uh, <laughs> is a big <laughs> issues for us. So. Uh, well, next here, <laughs> I'd like to expand over the oh, yeah. Japan, yeah. And also, I, I would like to add one thing. So, uh, OSPO is an open source program office. So, mm -hmm. the word program is a little bit difficult to understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, normal uh, software engineer thinks it's a software. But uh, the word uh, open source program, so program is uh, not uh, software. So I think that it's a worthwhile question. Uh, yeah, um, so actually, <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm from Spain and we don't we, we say open source office. Like we skip the program because translating it is like redundant. It's like, no, program doesn't make sense. Um, to answer that, and I, I think it's it's important also for the audience to know, because you might have heard of organizations that they don't call it an OSPO, but the like the mission that those entities are having are the itself like how the OSPO operates. So it's like bring this strategic um, view on top of open source operations. Um, and the way that I, I usually explain it is like, I feel it's it's fine to don't call it an OSPO internally because the organizations are gonna be the set different, but it's, it's good to have externally like as a common term. So if we are speaking, we don't need to go from one term to another. Everyone understand what is a marketing team. Everyone understands what is a security team. Maybe you don't call it a security team in the organizations. Uh, I feel like it's, it's kind of the same with the name. And I totally like encourage people to use the name that better works for the organizations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, but because I I keep having these questions also like in other in other regions, and I think it's it's important. That's a common question. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I, I do also have um, another another topic, another question, because you have been briefly, uh, sir, uh, some like uh, kinds of what, some of the value that the OSPO can bring to the organization, really briefly. Uh, but I, I I don't know if you have any any other ideas or recommendations on uh, what can, what kind of value can the OSPO provide right now to the to Japanese organizations? Yeah, uh, very most easy uh, way is uh, to uh, appeal the risks of the open source software uh, because uh, a Japanese executive concern about the security, security risk or uh, uh, some legal risk. Mm -hmm. uh, 
But I think uh, uh, if it, we uh, focused on the only the risks, I think uh, uh, misunderstanding uh, will be uh, happen maybe. So I think the uh, to uh, inst inst install the culture of the open source uh, is the most important thing, and uh, not only uh, culture but also to uh, connect uh, each activity uh, to the each business of the uh, each company is most mm -hmm. important thing. So I think uh, uh, most uh, uh, mo most uh, reasonable way is uh, it is very difficult to uh, set up whole uh, company at first. So uh, we uh, promote one good example, mm -hmm. uh, good case uh, arised inside the company and uh, spreading over the company is uh, the most reasonable way, I think so. Yeah, that's true, true, that's true and I totally agree with you. Uh, in my opinion, the most important thing that OSPO can bring your company is maybe open source culture, I guess. Uh, now, uh, commercial company uh, are using a lot of open source and they need to uh, make better relationships between open source cultures and open source communities. So uh, to bring those cultures to uh, into your company, uh, OSPO is your uh, is the best way to do that. So. Uh, yeah, so I I always recommend uh, companies executives to uh, do OSPO work uh, because of uh, if you want to use open source, uh, you need to follow their culture. So you should make OSPO uh, to uh, to uh, to make uh, your company fit into their culture. Uh, so the po from the point of the engineer, so because I'm an engineer, so uh, I think that uh, C level, uh, sh I, I I think C level should consider the uh, risk for leaving the developers. So because a uh, lot of uh, rules uh, uh, make uh, uh, the con they con confused. So. Uh, it's a uh, simple, but uh, it's so difficult to resolve. So, mm, I think it's a uh, very uh, uh, imp important to solve from the engineer. Mm -hmm. um, as I explained, <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of benefits <laughs> of the OSPO, and uh, maybe it's. <laughs> It's it's uh, very uh, <laughs> so maybe it's uh, depends on the uh, how what we, uh, what is uh, your most uh, problem is and uh, OSPO will uh, help to solve it so in it's uh, depends on the uh, <laughs> that one uh, that company's case uh, mm -hmm. I see um, and uh, as a final question. Um, feel free to answer if you feel comfortable. If not, that can be also a question for the audience afterwards. Um, uh, since now we are in Open Source Summit Japan, we are talking about this status of OSPOs in Japan. Do you have any recommendations that you can give to organizations in Japan that doesn't have an OSPO, but they are willing to get to start one, like any combinations on how to get it started? Oh, so my suggestion or some uh, opinion is that maybe the uh, risk management is the uh, best way to uh, easy to start. So maybe a compliance stuff is a, uh, uh, maybe the first one to uh, working on. It's not easy to complete the uh, component stuff, but uh, it's very easy to start <laughs> in the company. Uh, that's my, my suggestion. My suggestion is the uh, first step is uh, all, uh, um, a lot of uh, worker come here and touch the uh, <laughs> culture, open source culture. So it's easy, but a uh, lot at the, uh, or maybe they uh, get uh, a lot of awareness why as a company uh, contribute open source or wh why our company doesn't contribute yet. 
So I think it's easy, but it's important to act. Mm, so, so you mean like attending to conferences? Ah, yes, yes, exactly. Okay, okay. Mm. Uh, uh, if your company has no OSPO, but maybe your company has a special team for a compliance, open source compliance, maybe, uh, because Japanese companies loves compliance. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my suggestion is uh, 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 how, uh, mm, my suggestion is mm, uh, companies uh, uh, if you have uh, your compliance team, uh, maybe you should start with education uh, for it, uh, developers. So uh, through the, the education, maybe you can uh, tell the, the importance of open source or the a little bit culture thing about open source. So uh, maybe uh, one step further to open source uh, or OSPO, uh, the one step is like maybe uh, education, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yes. and my uh, suggestion is very simple, uh, to hear the real needs of each engineer. Because even if uh, we develop the very advanced uh, strategy of open source, uh, no one can understand it no, 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 make no sense. So, and uh, at first, uh, at least there are some needs of the uh, contribution or some uh, headache of the license issue or uh, security issues in the company. So we hear the, uh, well and uh, we discuss well uh, with the engineer and uh, to solve uh, real uh, needs at first. This is very open source approach. I think OSPO is also uh, have to solve. Uh, so this is my suggestion. Thank you so much. Uh, so I think we have a few space for questions. We wanted to to leave some space uh, in this panel uh, to to go through questions for that you would like to to ask to any of our panelists today. Thank you so much. Uh, I think uh, uh, to uh, discuss with the government is also a good uh, strategy in Japan also, uh, because uh, Japanese company is uh, very uh, sensitive for the intention of the government. And uh, uh, but unfortunately, uh, almost all open source issues are about security. Uh, but uh, security people also want to know about the how to uh, handling the open source inside the company. Uh, so I think uh, oh, uh, compliance or uh, uh, contribution people is also uh, same uh, issues, same uh, practices needed, 
like open open chain so uh, I, we uh, uh, we uh, cooperate with uh, uh, meti meti the uh, like uh, uh, financial government in japan uh, to discuss about the uh, what is the best practice in, in japan and uh, how to spread the open source uh, appropriate open source usage uh, in supply chain also uh, ma, uh, this is one uh, strategy in japan Um, I, I have, uh, it's just my personal thought and uh, this is more related with my experience in, in Europe with uh, OSPOS being held in governments. I think right now we are seeing a massive growth of OSPOS in the government sector, but I believe that they are like really on the very earliest stage and they need to evolve a bit more. But I, I believe like maybe in the near future, having OSPOS in companies, uh, public administrations, and other organizations, those OSPOS are communicators. They are the linchpin. They are the linchpin between the organization and the community, but they can also have these conversations with the OSPOS in governments. And these OSPOS that are in governments will be this linchpin to the government mode body. So I believe like, these OSPOs are powerful, not just to connect the open source community, but also to connect with other organizations. And no matter they are private or public administrations, I just believe like needs more time to be, to be settled because well, open source is a completely different view and needs, uh, as we have been mentioning in this panel discussion, uh, education and, and time. Any other questions or thoughts? Um, so, yeah, I, I'm working at the public service, and I think uh, I, I want to make um, the developers like me uh, to uh, easily. source code or commit contribute one by thing was that um, the big companies in Japan like us needs some um, 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 detailed rules to deal with uh, such such um, uh, work Yeah, yeah, of course, uh, in open chain uh, community, uh, f four or five years ago, uh, Fujitsu-san uh, mm -hmm. uh, disclosed their uh, rules uh, of the uh, uh, contribution in the company. And uh, of course, uh, another companies also can, uh, <laughs> so it is very difficult to disclose whole materials, but uh, uh, I, I think uh, it is very, uh, each company can uh, provide you uh, the information. Okay, I, I think uh, uh, so. Open chain is uh, <laughs> someone thinking about the license issues. <laughs> so, but uh, uh, so uh, we uh, collaborate to the to do groups. Mm -hmm. uh, to do group is uh, uh, mm -hmm. most uh, uh, issue is uh, sharing the information about the OSPO. Uh, so uh, we uh, 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 joint collaboration project, and of course, uh, Kato San Panasonic also mm -hmm. joining it. So please, uh, Kato San, share everything. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, and also, maybe we can have uh, some uh, discussion group in the open chain or Twitter group to find out, uh, 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 summarize some typical uh, rule set, uh, generate some uh, uh, rule set for the uh, template. For, uh, so every company, uh, every OSPO in the company can see it and promote it in, in that company. Maybe you can have a, some kind, such kind of activity in the, this uh, open source way. So. Okay, thank you. I think we are, yeah, we, we are on time. Uh, so thank you so much uh, for this uh, panel discussion, for sharing your views and your uh, remarks. Mm -hmm. And thank you everyone for, for being here and saying until the end. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you very much.